Okay, we're going to do a little experiment here. I'm trying to record this as a normal video and as a YouTube short. This is something I've wanted to talk about for a while. Looking at the chain rule. Now, suppose that you don't know the chain rule and you rewrite y by squaring this binomial. You could either use the distributive property, including the shortcut known as FOIL, because that's a binomial, or there's a special formula. Quite often, people get this wrong. You're going to have to square the 2 and the x, but not only add 1, in between, you're going to have to add twice the product of these two, and then add the 1 squared. So then you could go term by term and apply the power rule. And get 8x plus 4. But I want you to notice that this has as a factor of that result what was inside of what was being squared. This should suggest another option. If this had been x squared, then we would have had an answer of the derivative was 2x. Instead, we have, since that wasn't x being squared, we've got 2x plus 1, but it's not double. It's multiplied by 4 instead of 2. And where that's coming from, If we consider what's inside here as another function of x, then its derivative is 2. So what we're seeing here is, let's see, not only do we have the derivative of the whole thing, but then we're multiplying it by 2. Instead of 2 times 2x plus 1, we've got 4 times 2x plus 1. That is our chain rule. There's another way of writing it using function notation as well. But this is one of the ways of writing it. I'm not getting into proving this, nor getting into the other notation. And I like this particular one. It's almost as if the du's are canceling out. Not that they are, but kind of think of it that way to remember. So notice that when we squared this, that there were three terms. If you were to try to multiply out 13 minus x to the 70th power, there would be 71 terms, one more than how many we had inside. So rather than do that, which would provide multiple opportunities for making a mistake anyway, there is a formula for it, though. Take u to be 13 minus x, so it's derivative is negative 1. And then if we take the derivative of that whole thing raised to the 70th power, then we're going to have 70 brought out in front times this now raised to the 69th power and times the derivative of u with respect to x. So dy over dx would equal negative 70 times the quantity 13 minus x to the 69th power. 